cool thing about my job is that I get to do so many different things. I get to help collect venomous stonefish and milk them. I get to then communicate science to the average person and get them to understand what research is being conducted. I get to write documentaries, present documentaries, write books. I get to do the coolest things and I'm my own boss, which I kind of love because I'm a cool boss. I've always had an affinity with the ocean, but there was one particular turning point. I originally wanted to be a marine mammalogist and study dolphins. And then I discovered one of those most tiniest little creatures in a rock pool. It's a nudibranch or a sea slug. And it was found here, not too far from here. And I thought, how cool is that, that I could find something so colorful without having to go scuba diving and without having to go to the Great Barrier Reef. And I'm like, why don't people know about this? So then I found out more about the animal, the fact that it steals the color from the food that it eats. It steals the weapons from the food that it eats. And then it uses it in its own arsenal. And then I wanted to share those stories with everyone else. I saw something really sad, but also it was quite empowering because I could actually affect change. And that was seeing a weedy sea dragon stuck in a plastic bag. My heart absolutely sank, but I immediately wanted to take the plastic bag off. But I also thought I need to actually document this to show people the impact that we're having. And then we took it out of the bag and it was like it acknowledged what we had done. So it hung around for a little while. It came up to my mask as if to say, thank you. And then it kind of swam back off, which was really lovely and really rewarding to be able to do that. So the advice that I would give to students is that don't give up and follow your passion and to have an open mind about where science can take you. And the cool thing about science is that it's everywhere that you look. It's not being stuck in a lab and it's not a crazy man with grey hair. It's taken me to some of the most amazing places around the world. It's provided me with a platform to write books and documentaries. And I never imagined that science would enable me to do that. And it's given me a career that I absolutely love, where I've got great flexibility. So I think the key thing is about following your passion and doing something that you really love, because you really don't have to work if you do something that you love every day. I think social media is such an incredibly powerful tool for reaching people in remote communities, for telling stories, for translating stories into different languages. That has just been incredible and I'm so excited to see how much further we can actually take that and, and how much further we can use that as an influence to create change, to inspire people to become environmental ambassadors and champions because we need more of those.